Hey guys, uh, this is BMW OSS, and, um, uh, well, before I go anywhere, usually in all my videos, I explain what video I'm showing you. Now, this is, uh, just a gameplay on Jungle, it's pretty bad. This was actually just, uh, sort of like a test I did with my HD PVR, which I no longer have, because it didn't run very well with my computer, and so I just returned it. Anyway. <clears throat> a review will actually be out for that HD PVR and what I thought about it uh, at a later date, but not right now. Right now, I'd, uh, I'm going to talk about, um, well, I'm talking about this year, 2011, and um, what games I'm looking forward to and what games are coming out, because it is, I think, in my mind, I think it's a pretty big game, uh, sorry, pretty big year for gaming, and I just thought I'd share with you what I thought, um, uh, what I'm excited for. Alright, <coughs> number one was Little Big Planet 2. This is already out, of course. Fantastic game. If you're a PlayStation owner, you have to get this game. If you don't want to build the levels, it's a pretty much... The original was a fantastic level creator, and this one is turned more into a game creator. Um, if any of you ever played the classic, uh, uh, Legend of Zelda, where you were Link uh, running around the dungeon stuff, like sort of two bit. They've re someone has recreated that whole game, and uh, it's really fantastic. All the, all your sort of uh, menus and everything are still there. It's that's really great. Um, fantastic game. I can't wait to play more on it, and I'll hopefully when I get a new uh, capture card, I'll be doing uh, level reviews for that on a different channel. Um, next is Killzone 3. Now we have been playing the beta, and I had a uh, uh, sort of um, beta uh, thoughts, sort of opinion video up uh, earlier. Um, we've been pl I've been playing the beta. F uh, fantastic game. And it comes out, and right, well, from this date, it should be coming out in like a week or so. And uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that as well. Uh, good thing I have uh, plenty of money saved up because I'm buying a lot of games, and as you know, they're not cheap. So uh, Killzone 3, definitely another one, a must get for all PlayStation owners. I'm sorry, Xbox owners, uh, that I'm sort of being a bit PlayStation uh, exclusive here, but. You guys have Bulletstorm coming out, and, um, uh, what, what is it? Gears of War 3, that's right. You've got both those games coming out, and, uh, I'm sure you'll be, uh, you'll have a lot of fun with them, because they both look fantastic as well. Uh, next, uh, another game I had a beta preview up on was Brink. Now, Brink is, uh, the, the first person to do, you may have seen it, kind of a stylized look, but it's got a parkour. Um, and this, I think, in a parkour, in a first-person shooter, I just think is so cool. I can just imagine, I mean, fuck campers, you, you jump on their heads, you know. Um, it'd all be about movement rather than camping, which uh, games nowadays are so often uh, sort of uh, restricted by the fact that people can camp and there's, they can get into areas which there is only one entrance or wh whatever. Uh, if you could jump over, if you could break the boundaries of the level and uh, really travel at your uh, sort of freely, that I think would open up some incredible tactics and some really nice uh, gameplay. Um, uh, the next one, Modern Warfare 3. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that is coming out this year. They're having a bit of trouble though, because as you probably know, they f they like got rid of all Infinity Ward, so. There's, like, no more Infinity Ward, and I think Treyarch is working on this one again, so I'm not so sure. I didn't... I mean, I, I like Black Ops, but it, it, I think, in terms of how polished the game is, it's not really polished. I think Modern Warfare 2, even though it had all its sort of overpowered weapon faults and shit, I think it was still a more polished game when it came out, and I've had a lot more problems on Black Ops than I have ever had on Modern Warfare 2. So, um... I'm not sure if uh, Infinity Ward's making it. Th I think there are multiple companies making it. There's Raven Softwares and something else. Another uh, sort of uh, developer as well. So uh, I'll, I'll probably have a look at that. I mean, of course I'll get it. It's another COD game. And everyone knows that even uh, how much you, no matter how much you sort of hate COD, you really can't stay away from them <coughs> when all of your friends uh, end up buying it. And it's all, oh, come play COD with us. And, you know, you've, you've, you've got to end up... It's sort of an investment you've got to have. 
Um, Rage. That was one we saw at E3 2010. I'm... I, uh, saw this game. It, well, you have to have a look at it. It's... It reminds me a bit of Fallout. Um, it's sort of a first-person shooter set in some sort of desolate alien world. But... And... I don't know, you, you you really have to have a look at the trailers. It, it seems quite interesting. You sort of go through areas defeating sort of a certain gangs and stuff. And, um... Each gang has, like, like a, soldiers with different fighting styles. And so they're saying that it will open up a lot more uh, sort of, um... Uh, possibilities and, and a lot of variety in the enemies you will face. And, and uh, I've seen the demos and all this stuff about... I mean, uh, they had some sort of, like, electric crossbow or something that... If you shot water that people were standing in, a bit like uh, Infamous, I suppose. If in Infamous, if you shocked the water, everyone in the water would be electrocuted as well, and that was a lot of fun. That was a uh, that that was incredibly um I suppose uh, powerful. <coughs> so that looks pretty fun. I don't know if I'll get that. Um, I don't. I find even though I might want to play a game, I often don't have enough, you know, you don't have time, and if you're trying to level up on multiple games, it's really difficult, so I'm not so sure about that. Uh, one that we recently saw was uh, another one, okay, new game. Um, we recently saw the trailer for Battlefield 3. Now, this isn't Battlefield Bad Company 3. It's a constant uh, uh, confusion people are having. It's not Bad Company 3, it's Battlefield 3. So it's the sequel to Battlefield 2 of course. And um, this time it was PC exclusive for the Battlefield 1 and 2, all PC exclusive. This one's coming out on consoles, but pr it's uh, mostly PC, so PC users will get a lot more advantages. They have like 64 player multiplayer, wh whereas um, console has 32. So um, yeah, but I, I don't care if I'm getting a bit disadvantaged because it's mostly PC. It's still going to be an awesome game. Loved all of uh, DICE's games. Uh, in my mind, a hundred times better than Call of Duty. So I'm looking forward to that. And finally, uh, Uncharted 3. Now, we only just saw the um, trailer for Uncharted 3 like uh, about a month ago. And uh, they they really haven't done much. It, that trailer came out um, as sort of a, a teaser trailer, of course. And it looks fantastic, but uh, the game isn't coming out for a quite a while. It's coming out in November, I think. And so we still have quite a while to wait for that game. But uh, from what I've seen from the trailer, it looks fantastic. And I love all Uncharted games. And uh, I think Uncharted 3, it looks ten times better than all the others in terms of graphics. And Nathan Drake's still there. Um, yeah, still running around, finding treasure, solving puzzles, all that good stuff. Um, so I really can't wait for that. Um, so I think this year is really going to be a good year for gaming. It seems to be, there seems to be a, a sort of gap between development. So in this year we've got Little Big Planet 2, uh, we've got uh, Gears of War 3, we've got Killzone 3, we've got Uncharted 3, everything seems to come in, in sort of sets in two, sort of a, it's, it seems to skip a year, and this year we've got all these um, exclusives uh, coming out to us, and so, I mean, save up, <laughs> save up for those games, uh, what, whatever you need to do, because I think uh, we're going we're gonna to be, uh, have plenty of gaming by the end of this year, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I um, hope you are excited. Um, I don't know how many uh, more videos I'll be putting up uh, soon. I should put up a few more soon. Uh, I'm getting a new capture card, as I said, this one. I no longer have, so I'll be getting a, a new capture card. And uh, hopefully I'll have more up by then. Alright, see ya.